Stage 3 brings us the punch design. The first thing it's going to set up is our die set structure. So we step through a wizard. There are three steps to the wizard, different types of configurations, and of course user-defined settings. So down below here you'll see a load and save parameters. We can adjust our different plate sizes, turn them on and off it as needed. Now we can set our width and our of our inner and outer plates. We can set the plate center. And finally, we can set our clearance for all the different notching and piercings. Our land, our taper, and once again we can save the parameters for reuse. Now you'll see that there are place holders for each one of the different features that we've created thus far. So the split notches, the notchings, the piercings, and so on. These are just placeholders for the time being. We're going to start out with the, an option to create just the 2D. This gives us the flexibility to create the two-dimensional sketches at the right planes but allow us to modify the sketches before the 3D is created. It's strictly an option for the user. It may be more comfortable working in the 2D at this mode. And then what we can do is show and create the 3D. In this case I also have a setting on for shoulder locks. This is an option and of course if I zoom up you'll see a better idea of what's going on there. We can also create user-defined punches, such as our dimple feature here. We might want to create something unique in that area. So to get started with, we can zoom up on that and take those faces that are going to create the form and actually utilize those for extruding up to. So in more complex forms, this would be the simplest example you can quickly leverage the information right off the strip. Once we've created that, we can draw the profile of our punch. So I'm going to go to the Feature Manager and start a sketch. This way, we can utilize SolidWorks sketching tools. And in this case, it's going to be a simple circle. So let's just zoom up around this feature and find the center there. Dimension that. Say it's 6. And just close that up. Going back to this view, we can now go back to punches and create a user-defined punch. The profile is the sketch I just created and then what are the surfaces. So I'm going to pick that surface from the feature tree. It's a flyout tree. It gives me the ability to do that. And then pick OK. Now that we have that created, we can go through the same process for creating the bottom. And instead of going through that, let's just show some of the tools that we have to control the project info. Because now that we've created the uh, punches, we can go in here and set up the project info so you can set your different codes for each of these different objects that are going to be created in the assembly. So whatever you use in your shop, you can put in the prefixes and so on, and it's going to organize it very nicely for you. Let's show the rest of the 3D. and it gives you the baseline that you can work from now very quickly and you notice that we're still working in a part what we call a multi-body part so it's very easy to manipulate and move around each one of these can still be modified different parameters will depend on what you select and our bends and so on can be modified our cross sections we can split this block into different configurations
and each one of these has the ability to turn on and off the shoulder, edit the shoulder, add a step. If we wanted to add a step to it, it will remove the shoulder and it wants to know what the step is. You can modify the step. So as you can see, it's putting a default step in there. And then when we're happy with that, just tell it what size step it is. Just take the default in this case. And we have our step punch. We can also hide the 3D very quickly to go back and work on specific areas. As we get into the bending, we can also control the holding level. We can edit the shape, the cross section of the bend, add our spring back calculations, and so on. Same with the die side. So at this stage, we can convert now and step into the die set.